Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Wednesday meditation gathering. I'm so glad we're all here together. And this week we have Leah Steinson, who's going to lead us in meditation. Then we're going to have 20 minutes of silence. After that, we'll open it up for sharing and we end at 10.45. Over to you, Leah. Good morning, everyone. How lovely to be here with you again. See all your beautiful faces. I'm going to begin with the invocation that I uh, wrote for the beginning of my groups. And I invite you just to close your eyes for this, please. From the heart of divine love to the heart of my being, to the heart of your being, let us today be transported by the light to rest in God. I am not a body. I am pure spirit. You are not a body. You are pure spirit. When we each remember who we really are, we know there is no separation. We are one. So those last three words really resonate. We are one. Every time we say this, I think it just goes that little bit deeper. We realize more and more the absolute truth. We are one. If you'd like to open your eyes. There are three words I'm going to use as the inspiration when we get there for the meditation. And they just came to me last night through the meditation of mine that we were doing for the group. And I was using the lesson, My Defenselessness, My Safety Lies. And we read certain paragraphs. And then Jan, who unfortunately isn't here now, couldn't come today. She read paragraph uh, 19, which we hadn't included. And there in that paragraph were three words that just so resonated with me. I thought that's what's been given to me for the meditation today. <clears throat> so I'm going to read most of that paragraph and you will hear at the end three words. We rise up strong in Christ and let our weakness disappear as we remember that his strength abides in us. We will remind ourselves that he remains beside us through the day and never leaves our weakness unsupported by his strength. We call upon his strength each time we feel the threat of our defenses undermine our certainty of purpose. We will pause a moment as he tells us, I and when I heard that last night, it was as if I'd never heard that before. And when I was reading it again this morning, and just now, I could feel the power of that, feel the resonance within me. And I hope that you can feel that resonance too. I am here. It's just so comforting, so beautiful. But before we actually go into the meditation to, to use those words as our anchor, I just want to read a little bit to you from uh, the work about the course's take on meditation, what Jesus is teaching us. It's interesting, I couldn't find the word meditation, but it may be there somewhere. The course just it doesn't talk directly, I find, about meditation, but he talks about ways to go into that state that meditation invites us into. So <clears throat> I'm just going to read <coughs> to you. It can't take too long, but it's so helpful what the Course has to tell us. And very early on. So from, from uh, Lesson 41. To get, get a sense of turning inward past all the idle thoughts of the world, Try to enter very deeply into your own mind, keeping it clear of any thoughts that might divert your attention. And then from, from lesson 44, 
try to sink into your own mind, letting go of every kind of interference and intrusion by quietly sinking faster. Your mind cannot be stopped in this unless you choose to stop it. It is merely taking its natural course. And from 47, try to reach down into your mind to a place of real safety. You will recognize that you have reached it if you feel a deep peace, however briefly. And then this bit is very, it's all very helpful. But this guided me too in using those three words, I am here. From time to time, you may repeat the idea if you find it helpful. But most of all, try to sink down and inward, away from the world and all the foolish thoughts of the world. You are trying to reach past all these things. You are trying to leave appearances and approach reality. And I was reading a bit of, from Alan Watson on this too. And he said, it is absolutely essential to bring your mind back from wandering or your meditation will not accomplish anything. You must be willing to constantly pull your mind back again and again. And those words that I've just read to you seem to me to be very powerful and go straight to the heart of meditation. Um, I think many people will think they can just close their eyes and have a nice time in meditation. But the truth is, for most of us, what happens is that our minds wander. And before we know it, we're thinking about what we're going to have for dinner. And we thought we were meditating. But meditation is, is quite hard work. Um, it's not an easy thing, is it? It's the most rewarding thing we can do. But we have to really use uh, the strength of the Holy Spirit with us keep us centered in what we're doing and then it becomes very very beautiful indeed so i'm just going to read one more bit that i think is really helpful and then we'll gradually go into the meditation let go all the trivial things that churn and bubble on the surface of the mind and reach down and below them to the kingdom of heaven there is a place in you where there is perfect peace. There is a place in you where nothing is impossible. There is a place in you where the strength of God abides. So, winding those different threads together, uh, reaching down within us to the place where peace, love, truth, God, abide. And using those words today, I invite us together to use those three words. I am here. Feel them resonating in our minds. What I also find helpful with this kind of uh, statement is you can also say, you are here. So you can try both. Address you to God, the Holy Spirit, to Jesus, whatever feels right to you, it's the same thing. Affirm with you, you are here. And it's so, wow, so mind-blowingly beautiful to get that intense realisation that he is indeed here in us, uniting us. So I am here, you are. So I invite you now to close your eyes. I'm going to say just a few words to, to guide you in for the part of the meditation. And at the end of the meditation, I'm going to um, make three chimes on my crystal bowl. And the reason for that is partly that it's a very pure sound and it makes a really wonderful transition between the meditative state and normal consciousness. It also gives you time. This gives you time to come for meditation. So listen out for those three chimes. And Dan or Sharon, if you would um, maybe just send me a little note in chat if you think the time is up before I do, so I can do the chime at the right time. So please close your eyes again now. Just for a moment or two, let's use some consciousness of the present moment to really take us right here now beyond the 
rabbit in the circle of the mind. Of the mind. The ego. Um, as we were taught in those lessons, going in, down, sinking past, normal thinking of the mind. Be aware of your breathing. Just the gentle rise and fall of your chest. Easy rhythm, feel in your nostril. Feeling those instructions sinking in, down, beyond. All thoughts disappear, not round. And bring to your mind the word, I am. You might alternate them with you, I. You can stick with that and feel the words ride on your breath. Establish a rhythm. You can get deeper and deeper into the truth. Transcendent beauty. Knowing I you are I'll call you back with a crystal ball three times at the end of the meditation.
Open your eyes slowly and come back into the room. We have 15 minutes left for sharing your reflections and your questions. If you'd like to speak, raise your hand or use the reactions button at the bottom of the screen. And I'll invite you to take yourself off of mute. And if you'd like to ask Leah a question with confidentiality, put it in the message in the chat function at the bottom of the screen and it will be read out. Take yourself off of mute, Sue. Uh, so um, yeah, that was that was really shattering. Uh, it happened at the start of the meditation time, and it was a distraction and irritation, and I felt angry. And I thought this is supposed to be a really nice meditation and this thing's distracting me and I thought it was going to be I thought I was going to stay annoyed and irritated and not be able to properly take part and it's like this voice said it's your choice you can choose to be irritated and sit with your irritation or you can choose to go inside which is what Leah was saying you know go down deeper into yourself and find what's really there. And I tried. I used to think God was up there somewhere and when I meditated, I had to go up there. So I was thinking, you know, this has turned things around. And if I go inside, then that's just me. And then I know the Course is always telling us that God is in us. And I thought, well, I'll go, <laughs> I'll go and look for him. <laughs> so. I got this image of being in a, I have no idea what a diamond mine looks like, but the concept of a diamond mine, and there was just this blackness. And then it was like my image of Moses parting the Red Sea, the black walls just separated. And there was so much light and power. And It scared me and I had to let the walls close. It was too much. And then I felt such, there was a sense of loss that I'd said no to it. But there was also such a sense of peace because now I know it's there. And I'm, I'm really overcome by the whole experience. But it was so powerful, and so intense. I really felt I had to share it with you. and. I just I want to thank you so much for giving me that opportunity this morning, Leah. And I just know it's going to take me some time to understand what was happening. But it was it was wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. Leah, you're um you're on mute, I think. Can't hear you. No, maybe I was speaking quietly. I'm not there we go. We're good. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, sorry. I went into my quiet voice. <laughs> and Sue, I was just saying thank you so much for sharing that. It's so beautiful because when one person experiences something like that, it, we all do. It's a gift. You know, the healing of the mind is not just one person. But that, that light of healing went across everyone. Oh, beautiful, thank you so much. I can feel you so moved. Uh, and that was really a, what I might call an enlightenment experience or an experience of salvation. And I know, yeah, we come back, but it can never be taken from you and you can go there again. Yeah, that's why I felt. Thank you. We'd like to share. Angela, take yourself off of mute.
Oh, <laughs> I feel very, I feel very quiet. So my voice is an interruption to the quiet we've just had. <laughs> um, but um, I had a, a lovely visualization. I don't know if it's on the same scale as Sue's. <laughs> um, but um, when when I sort of started to say I am, I I felt resistance. So I I decided to start with saying what I'm not. Um, to, to get that out of the way. <laughs> so uh, there was quite a long list. Um, and um, I'm not this body, I am i can't even think what all the list was now. But uh, I am not blah, 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 I am not blah, 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 whatever, whatever came out. And then it, the, the last thing I thought is, I, I'm not anything in this world. And I suddenly felt a bit fearful and bereft and placeless, if that's the word. Mm -hmm. Um, so I then went on to say, well, so what am I then? What am I? I was asking. So I had this sudden huge change of energy. And um, I, 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 I suddenly thought, I'm free. I am free. And I had this sense of rising up out of my body. And this, this light being flew off. And I was flying everywhere. And... I, I kind of had an amused thought because when Annie did the balloon meditation, there was no way I was going in that hot air balloon because I don't like heights. But here I was flying <laughs> because, of course, it wasn't this body doing it. So I was flying. And the, what an amazing sense of freedom and love. And I, I can't even say I was in forgiveness because there was nothing to forgive. It was absolutely sense of total freedom from everything that the body represented. And so I started flying around looking at everything in the world and, and, I, and I flew low so people could see me and I had this sense of demonstrating. Um, and people, people were looking and I was saying, I'm free, I'm free. And, and they suddenly identified with it and they all started flying out of their bodies with all these light beings. And, and, and it was just en masse everywhere I went. And it crossed my mind about probably everybody's seen those starlings uh, doing the art in the sky, you know, all the flying around everywhere. And, it, and it, it, it felt like that everybody was in unison and we all felt as one. But there was this huge excitement about the initial realisation that, that we're all free, we're actually free, not limited at all as um i am spirit and you know you know i'm leah you know uh, i made words up for that um lessons and sing it the i am spirit and everybody was singing this um i am strong i am invincible i am spirit you know there's this huge energy but then after all the initial energy and that wonderful wonderful realization of of who we really are it all started to beautifully calm and peaceful and you could just feel the love. And there was no sense of any edge of all of us. We all just blended. And the thing I noticed that I felt strange about, that although we all blended into one, we're all moving, flying all together, um, it, there was still a sense of me. Even though I knew all that oneness and there was no difference, I still had a sense of me there. Um, so I didn't feel lost. I felt together with everybody, but still this, this sense of, of uh, myself. Um, and then there was an in, my intellect leapt in and thought, well, what would it be like then, feeling like this, having this wonderful experience with everybody? to go back into your body and I thought I don't want to and I didn't <laughs> I'm still flying around up there <laughs> I didn't want to go back and find out what was it like to have that in the body it just didn't it just didn't feel right I wasn't I didn't want to be there so I'm a bit airy fairy in my head at the moment <laughs> anyway so that that your meditation triggered all of that so that was amazing Fantastic. thank you <laughs> that is really wonderful and I was thinking about that, that lesson, recent lesson, when I'm healed, I'm not healed alone. 
And as I was saying to Sue, this is such a wondrous thing, isn't it? Because every moment that anybody transcends the experience of being a body and gets it, this, this intense, incredible, vast freedom, it's a gift to us all. Something happens for us all. So it's, uh, yeah, wonderful. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. Thank you. Vivian, would you like to speak? Take yourself off mute. There you go. <clears throat> it's very interesting that people have obviously had lovely experiences this morning. And yet for me, really for the first time, I felt this deep gratitude towards this meditation group of all the people that have become so familiar here um, on a Wednesday morning. And it was really the first time I felt this oneness of this particular group. So I didn't have flying and I didn't have lights, but I felt as if I really appreciated the oneness of this group <coughs> as a meditation. Uh, uh, yes, in our meditation, um, the words I used quite a lot was I rest in God. I use that quite a lot in life anyway. I rest in God. Um, so thank you very much for that, Leah, and everybody's contributions. I really felt our unity this morning. Thank you. That's another enlightenment experience, isn't it? Because you got in touch with the oneness. Is there anything bigger or better than that? <laughs> That's really it, isn't it? Like, and this kind of yes, they give us these gifts. Wonderful. Thank you. We'd like to share. We have something in chat which says, love that Angela quotes no edge. Yes, no edges. Okay, Marcy, Marcy, would you like to speak? Thank you for the meditation, for the group. I don't know what's happened. I feel something so much deep. And then when I miss the people, the vibrations come. I, and I really, I feel it's a really gift to be with you. Thank you for, for sharing and, and for permit I can stay with you. Thanks so much. Mm. I feel really very, 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 very deep. All your experience, I feel very, very deep. I don't know why English is so important for me. I don't know, really. I, I like to share with you. I don't share. I have one. One week ago, I had one dream, the last dream in the in the night, and then in the dream, I see someone makes me one interview, and I saw one listen in the dream. I say in English, "Thanks God, forgive me, Holy Spirit, for guidance my life." In English, I don't know why, but it's coming. Then. Um, I really feel the vibration, it's coming very, very, very deep. The meditation, it was very, really wonderful, but to feel with this vibration with you, for me, it's really amazing. Thanks, 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 God. Thanks, group. thanks so much. Wonderful. <clears throat> I can't usually come to this group because I, I work on Wednesday mornings, but I, if ever I can, I will. You know, I rearranged them to be here today, but I'd love to be here always. So I will try to do more anyway. And I think just, I know we've got to finish in a moment, but just take those words. I am here. And of course, I is I, but more than that, I is God. I is Jesus, the Holy Spirit. It's like, wow, isn't it so big? And I thank you again to Jan. You weren't here at the beginning when I was saying that it was you last night who brought these words to me, perhaps from the Holy Spirit, but for us today. 
just let's take that away now. God is here. Me, in is not right, it's not a body, so how can anything be in the body? But it's the closest we can get. He is here. Well, we've come to the end of our time. Um, okay, Teresa, you can sneak in there. <laughs> I just wanted to say to Mercy, um, Mercy, um, you're in Spain, I believe, and Leah lives half the time in England and half the time in Spain. So she's going back in uh, the autumn. So you might want to connect. All right. So yeah, anyway, lovely. all right. Thank you. So leave me your email address and we'll, we can speak. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Hey, well, thank you, Leah. That was wonderful. And thank you all for being here. It was so nice to, to feel that oneness with you all. I'm so grateful. Take yourself off and mute. Show your appreciation to Leah. Thank you, 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 Leah. Thank you,